Hello everyone! Welcome! Welcome back to Anna Dialogue, the dialogue on analog music reproduction. Today we are going to take a deep dive in our analog C. Yes, because we are going to take a look at the best cassette decks in their section, okay? In their budget. Are you ready? You've been asking for this a very long time. Here it is, all for you. Okay guys, I want to keep this video very short. It has to be a practical guide. We're gonna see the main decks in three sections, three macroscopic budget sections. The first one, $100, $300 or Euro, it depends, more or less. It's the same price in the end from U AU and the US. Second tire, $300, $600 or Euro. The third and last tire, it's $600, $1,000 or Euro, okay? And we're going to take a look at three or four models per section. Are you ready? Let's start. Okay, before we start, I want to make it clear. A few of these I know, others I don't. I did a thorough review online. Some are very famous and renowned. I had to put them. So it's a mixture of all these three elements but i think that when i'm recommending these they're pretty sound and solid there i mean okay they're concrete recommendations you can be sure about that uh, obviously i'm going to try to recommend something that you can find currently on the web okay there's no sense in recommending something maybe even more famous than the ones i selected but it's un uh, completely impossible to find so that's not helpful at all. So the ones I'm going to list, I did a research and I've seen a few models. Obviously, they're going to end at a certain point, but I think that they're, they're going to come back sooner or later. Plus, the, the ratio quality performance is outstanding in all of these. OK, let's start with our first section. Our first section is $100, $300. For our first deck, I'm going to have to read, there's so many specs. We're going to mention the Yamaha KX300. This is a 1988 up to 1990 model, two head. Frequency response is 30 hertz to 20 kilohertz. It has HX Pro, which is something good for recording. It regulates the bias. The signal to noise ratio is 76 dB, pretty good. Wow and flutter 0.05%, total harmonic distortion, which is not every time indicated, is 1%. Mm, a little high, but no problem. I mean, it's, it's an excellent deck. It's famous and renowned deck. Let's go immediately to our second deck, okay? The Technics RS B555. Now, this is an excellent deck, but there are also other Technics models. There's so many Technics models, okay, out there. So if you find something with similar specs I'm going to list, go for it. No problem. And remember, we're in the lowest part. I mean, these are really cheap, but the sound is going to be very good. Okay, the B555 is a 1989-1990 production, two head. Frequency response is 20 hertz up to 19 kilohertz. It has HX Pro. Signal to noise ratio 74 dB. Wow and flutter is 0.05. Fantastic. Here is our first Nakamichi, because obviously I had to put at least one in each section. The Nakamichi I want to recommend for this tire is the BX125. This is a 1985-1987 model, two head. 20 hertz, 20 kilohertz. Signal to noise ratio, eh, 68 dB. Wow and flutter, 0.06. Total harmonic distortion, 1%. Okay, this was our first sector. I told you, I'm going fast. This has to be practical. Let's skip now to our second tire, our second section. Go. Okay, for our second section, which is the budget from 300 up to $600, we have an Iowa FD F880. 
There are going to be also other uh, lower and lower models by Iowa, but I think this is the best for this sector, for this budget in terms again in um, quality and performance and expense. In any case, if you see other models, the 660, I don't remember now the, the names, the 770, they're good. But if you can, go for this one. And we're inside this uh, budget. Okay, here we are starting with three heads. Okay, we're already talking about more serious stuff. Dual capstan. OCC coils inside the DX heads, which are uh, have a, a bias shield fantastic heads it also has an amts damping system i mean these are features that you're going to find on top of the line models and already here we're starting to find very good stuff frequency response is 20 hertz up nine, up to 19 kilohertz signal to noise ratio 73 db wow and flutter is 0 0.035 that's it excellent deck absolutely i also want to mention my here my dual Big mine because I have one here and I also made a video my dual C 844 here is a link check that video for all the details I'm not gonna say anything else it's an incredible machine I think it can rival with my dragon absolutely no question it's not a shocking phrase there launched there I do believe in that okay let's proceed then we have our pioneer again there's so many models from pioneer excellent models I'm gonna cite this precise model, the, the CTS620. There are also other ones, like for example, the 610, the 800, 820, the 920, or also, also the line, the CTF of the 70s. Those are very renowned, but they're usually more expensive. That's why I could not insert them here. So let's just stick with this one. This is the CTS620. This is a model from 1993, 1994, so pretty late. Three heads, HX Pro, 15 hertz to 21 hertz frequency response, kilohertz, very, very good. Signal to noise ratio, 79 dB. Wow, wow and flutter is 0.023%. Total harmonic distortion, 0.6%. Very nice. Let's come now to our last deck, and it's going to be a Nakamichi, and it's the BX300. I had to put it. This is a 1984-1987 production. Three heads, dual capstan, 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz, signal to noise ratio 70 dB, while in flutter is 0.027%, total harmonic distortion 0.9. Uh, I forgot to mention which maybe are my favorites. Clearly, I do have a soft spot for the Nakamichi. In the other tire, maybe the Technics. In this one, besides the Nakamichi, probably, well, the Duel I just love, maybe more than anyone else. Then the Nakamichi, and then probably the Iowa. I don't know, but it's difficult. These are excellent. Okay, let's proceed immediately to our third tire. Let's go. Okay, our third group is from $600 up to $1,000. Now, the, these models I'm going to mention fluctuate a little bit, okay? You're going to find them even at lower prices or even a little higher prices, I've noticed. But more or less, they should fall in this uh, category, let's say. Okay, the first one I want to mention is the Pioneer CT91, part of the Elite types wow now we're already in a higher segment absolutely another great deck that i had to mention here is the ct910 which it, it doesn't have that that fancy stuff like OBS, but it's top notch quality inside how it's constructed absolutely in any case we're going to take a look at the even higher and the better model the ct91 elite which can go a little more than this budget here but you may find it even less. This is a 1989 production, three heads, dual capstan. It has a sta uh, its own type of stabilizer. HX Pro, the bias adjustment manual, 2023 hertz kilohertz frequency response, signal to noise ratio, 79 dB, while in flutter is 0.22%, total harmonic distortion, 0.6%. Very nice. Okay. Then we have our, another again, uh, 
actually two, I would say, but mainly one, Iowa, the XK007. Or if you can find also the 009. The features may seem better, but they're they're both excellent. Maybe it's, according to some, the 007 is even better. It depends. But these are two incredible products of the Excelia, the top of the line production. They also made uh, the 9000 and 7000 afterwards. A lot of people claim these are even better and they cost much more the other ones. So stick with these. Okay, let's take a look at the uh, 007. This is a 1988, 1990 production, three heads. Again, we have those we have those special features by Iowa with OCC coils in the uh, DX bias shielded heads. It has HX Pro, 2020 frequency response hertz, uh, kilohertz. Um, plus a signal to noise ratio of a whopping 95 dB. Wow. All these signal to noise ratio, I am telling you, are with the maximum selection of noise reduction system, okay? And usually with metal cassettes or chrome, it depends. Wow and flutter is 0.025%. And for our last uh, top of the line of the uh, least of these groups, is the Nakamichi CR4 deck, our last Nakamichi. This is a 1988-1990 production, three heads, dual capstan, it has calibration, 20 hertz, 21 kilohertz frequency response, signal to noise ratio 72 dB, hmm, could have been better, one flutter 0.027 hertz, total harmonic distortion 0.8, although a lot of these specs in the Nakamichi I've learned during the years are uh, quite uh, low, uh, contained. I mean, when you start to, to put some stuff on it and people do measurements, they're way beyond that. So that's why they are so good in the, in the end, also from a spec point of view. Okay, guys, this was very quick. I hope I finally give you some answers, a buying guide to know how to look. I think I also gave you the sensation of which brands, which models, which features to look. That is good. If you can find something with a calibration, even among other models I haven't told you, I think that's always something very, very useful and positive. It's just gonna optimize your recordings. One last thing I wanna say is that a, a very serious professional and high quality list would have separated playback and recording decks. But that's a further step, okay? You're gonna do, this is a pack for starting, or I mean, if you take the last ones I mentioned, they're excellent on both sides, no problem. Okay, what else can I say? Please leave your comments here below for other models you have tried, your experiment that you think are good within these three sectors though. And what else can I say, can I add? Obviously, that music is born analog. Bye guys, bye. Well guys, if you're enjoying my videos and you're enjoying my channel, please consider to subscribe by clicking the black and white logo here below. Also, don't forget to click the notification bell so you'll never miss an episode and you will become a true member of the analog community.